Welcome back to the V Brown Bag build day here with the HC380 hyperconverged platform at HP Enterprise. I'm joined by Greg Park. Thanks for joining me again for this video, Greg. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about what your experience has been of these things being deployed actually out with real customers because it's all very well having product management and, and tech marketing engineers talking about that there are use cases for it where it's in, in particular silos and solving problems and that, that there's this wonderful vision of Synergy as, as another tool and there's more legacy architectures, but real customers are out there solving their real problems and you're going out there helping them. So can you give us some insights on where you've seen these HC380 actually deployed with customers? One example is a customer who puts these in their processing plants. They have several two node solutions out across processing plants. 10 to 11 different plants, and they roll these up, they're using those to collect all that data there, and then they can pull it back into their main data center to look at what's going on. So they do local data capture in a, in a manufacturing plant onto here, some processing. Some processing um, and, and bring it back. One in. of the things I've been writing about is the value density of information, and yeah. that you want to send back value dense information, and, mm -hmm. and the, the stuff that's not very dense in value, you want to process here before you, you start it's pushing it around. So Absolutely. that's so one of the edge cases. Type processing, yeah, it, right? edge processing. So they. That's been a pretty neat solution they've been putting out. Um, I, I, I see a lot of uh, not hard hardened areas, but difficult areas around West Texas and places like that where they want to put these out because there's no real support staff out there, not a whole lot to do. So almost like a robo, you know, some big companies, it's their branch offices out there around the country and they want to put this out again. Most of it is data processing there as well mm -hmm. to collect a lot of data, bring it in. A couple of big 10 node clusters where they're doing VDI, mm -hmm. putting 100 plus users, using the capabilities of the uh, um, NVIDIA card and some of the, the VDI session capabilities they put on here. You need to see their, their, their end users are happy because the test was to watch a bunch of cartoons, so we had a good time doing the uh, end user test as well. So It's good to see customers who test. test based on a business based use on case. Based on business use case, watch cartoons at their end okay. users. So made me happy. I also see some people trying to just migrate small workloads. Uh, go standard system, you know, no VDI, nothing, just lots of drives and move small, even small SQL workloads over mm -hmm. and do things like that to get it off some legacy stuff. They're either retiring, uh, even that hardware is getting stressed. It's a pretty powerful box. You can run quite a bit in here. So, so if, if you're replacing uh, general purpose virtualization on mm -hmm. hardware that's maybe five years old, mm -hmm. um, there's no way it's going to form any it, anything but better when you bring it onto a newer piece of hardware like this. It gives you that option of moving some of those things off, uh, helping you retire some of that older stuff and simplify your day-to-day -day work. Um, as I keep saying, let's make our data center smaller, simpler, easily. So. One of the features of HC380 that we, we talk about a lot in the marketing is the VM vending machine. So the ability to devolve the ability to de deploy virtual machines down to the business owner of the virtual machine without necessarily involving the, the IT people. How much do you see that adopted versus them continuing to use their legacy processes of the IT department, gets a ticket, creates a virtual machine, returns the ticket? So uh, the, the, I see actually a lot of people using this, this vending machine capability. And the, the, the processing plan I was talking about earlier, they allow their, their admins out there to create a few VMs. They're, they're templatized and they sit in the, the screen. We'll probably show where you have your t-shirt sizes. They have those predefined. So I can roll that out for a short amount of time and use it. And at the same time, I can administer the box and I'm, the number of tickets is smaller because I'm looking at that, that management screen. I can tell what's really going on. And so when I do call my IT staff, I can minimize the amount of time they need to debug so it. So you, you feel like this gives a, a lot more ownership of, of the, the platform too, or at least the consumption of the it. Consumption the consumption of it. From day to day for yeah. me, if I'm out of the factory, you could push a workload to me and now you can, I can just call you and I have real bad problems. On the other side, the integration we have with VMware I see that our customers really like that. The fact they can see everything and drill all the way down to the system from there mm -hmm. as well helps them out. So with that one view for vCenter plugin, they like the ability from an administrator point of view, if I call it, say I'm having a problem, you can get down to it without having to jump to the screens, jump on out. It's a yeah, one so, so me as, as being a long-term VCP, mm -hmm. I can use the vSphere client and go and look at exactly. things and make changes and provision virtual machines. I mean, that's, as, as I was looking at it today, I, I had virtual machines that I was managing through vCenter, but they all showed up in, in my, the, the, the self-service uh, self portal showed the same, them. and it yeah. came back in the other direction as well. When I produced a virtual machine through the self-service, it looked like a sensible VM in vSphere as well. It didn't have a GUID as the virtual machine name or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, I, you, you can push VMs down to me also, and that, that interface lets me create uh, LDAP integration so that 
at the same time, I can only be a read-only user of that. So you can have full control, or I can be an admin, I can roll out VMs. In this case, I go to my little you know, VM vending page, and you can define the VM ahead of time, and my t-shirt size is there, I can roll those out. So I have some control out on my factory, or if I'm out in an oil field or something. All right, well, I, we were going to ask you about the weird and wonderful places that we've <laughs> we've seen the HC380, but um, we're discussing off camera, and, and it sounds like it, these things go pedestrian places. They, they yeah. just go and do work and, and run this weird thing called production uh, that, that isn't necessarily quite so uh, I've been trying odd. to work a deal to get down to Puerto Rico to do an install or do something on a cruise ship. Have not had that happen yet. So most no, of the time no it's a data center like Grand, this. Grand Cayman or anything? Not Cayman. I'd like to go down to Grand Cayman to see my money. Um, yep. It'd be neat. But it's, you know, no, I don't, nothing really unique so uh, thank you Greg this has been V Brown Bag Build Day for HP Enterprise HC380